Now, having done a little watercolour sketch, I've now got a Dala board primed, and what I think we'll do here is a little bit of acrylic. We're going to just draw the scene out, but in a far looser way. And I'm using a, a, a burnt sienna with an ultramarine blue here. Just a bit of acrylic. These are the trees you saw in the original watercolour with the horizon running through there. So we're still retaining the identity, but just loosening up and just positioning shapes on the board. What I've done here, I've just used a little bit more blue here. And I'm not worried at this stage about final colours. It's just thinking about the final composition of how we're going to tackle this and how we're going to look at it. So drawing on the subject, a bit of acrylic, mix up a brown and blue there. And it had this pathway through and our poppies leading into it. Whether we retain that, we just have to think about it a little bit more. So quite crudely, quite loose in a way, but just looking at the total subject. Drawn with a small brush, just drawn in, blue and a brown, very loosely. We'll just let that dry just a minute mixed up a few more colours, put those on as our base for our little bit of oil investigation before we go into the abstract. Having put our base marks on to form the composition, I'm now going to use some acrylic here with a bit more water, a larger flattish brush. Working our way down and into it. Wipe that off on a bit of kitchen roll and actually rub this in. Just take that in, just rub this in. We're getting rid of the white to start with and creating a back cloth to enable to build up. I'm going to now use a little bit of yellow, cadmium yellow, in with that blue and just put on a base of green. Very similar to we did the watercolour really. Keep it loose, a bit more water, let it run through. And pure base colours to enable us to build our oils up to and put over. We can take some of this off, give it a little bit of texture. It kills off the whiteboard and helps tonally. All the while though, I'm looking at how we're going to go forward. So what I'm going to do here is let this base acrylic dry. Then we're just going to try some oil, just see how it works and just see the colours building up to doing the abstract. So let's let that dry off now. We'll get a few oils out and just carry on and put a bit of colour on it, shall we? Having um, got a base colour on in acrylic, um, we're going to put some oil on here. We want to keep it fairly sketchy. We don't want to go too far with this. I'm going to make a dark green here using ultramarine and cadmium yellow. And we're going to just use the side of the brush. Hold the brush like this. It gives you more freedom. You'll see this happening when we do the abstract with the larger brushes. So side of the brush. Put your darks in very loosely, opposite way round to the watercolour, do the darks first here. So you must remember that, you can get confused at times, but darks first on acrylic and oil, darks last when you're doing watercolour. So I've just put some dark trees in basically here, no white as you will notice. What I'm going to do, slight little bit of terps here, a little bit more green, just to get it a little bit more runny here. Just to get a little bit more intensity of greens coming through here. If you remember on the um, watercolour we did, we had this purple background, so we're going to have a look at that. So before we do that, what I want to do you just make some dark marks with a brush, very loosely, to form the composition. 
So what we'll do with this, we'll use this lighter green first of all and block in these parts of the painting between the dark rows that we've created. You can see how it's quite scrubbed on very loosely. The gel medium will help dry this and you won't have to wait too long to enable you to get back into it. And then it is an old sketch. It is something that we're using to build up our abstract painting and it still retains its traditional values. Clean the colour off here in the Dirty Turps into my purple colour which I would now put on the background. You can see by leaving a little bit of green on the brush it picks up that green, picks up a bit of red, picks up a little bit of blue. That's in my distance. Off again which enables me to go into the sky colour. I'm going to add a little bit more gel into my sky colour and start to paint this out again. Not too much terps and in a way try and keep it on the darker side. What you'll notice I've started to take it into the trees. That colour of the trees spreads into the sky. Not worried about that at this stage. Keep it dark, paint it down toward the horizon, scrub it in, keep very loose, a little bit of turps, a little bit of wind gel. I think anything that happens in life, I think anything really new will cause some disquiet and discomfort amongst people who accept and want the traditional. That's the first point. I think with today's media hype and the promotional aspect behind it all really, that the public is far more aware of this and this is brought to their attention far more to actually shock them more if you like because they've, they've seen it all. Everybody's seen so much nowadays. The only way they can get something new across is to go overboard. But I think, in a way, you've got to be careful because behind that, behind that veneer, I think there's um, a very, very good contemporary painters out there producing very good work um, that, that people do accept and aren't put off by the shock of the new, if you like. Well, here we are, cotton canvas on stretchers. This is where we're going to do our abstract. Quite a nice size. Let's have a go. What do we do? Using acrylics here, a one inch household decorator's brush, and I use these tins into which I have mixed some acrylics and some water. I'm going to put on some darks here. With water, it's kept fairly loose, and we're going to draw with a paintbrush. These are our trees, by the way, coming across down the side here. A bit more water here, through here. Don't make it too thick at this stage. In fact, I've added a little bit more water in with this. flick of paint through. There was a big tree here somewhere, I believe. We'll put that in, and one off the end. Right, um, okay, what we've done here is drawn with a large brush instead of with a pencil in a very freeform way. And what we'll do is just let that dry off just a little bit before we start to look at colours building into it. So what we need to do now is uh, look at our colours we're going to mix. Right, having put the dark on, what we're going to do here, I think, is first of all, we're going to block in the sky. And I'm trying to get rid of this 
stark white canvas. So let's just come along and block this in. And we're using a blue and a purple together. While well, we're doing this, some um, abstract painting. I mean, what do you make of Damien Hirst and the unmade bed, the Turner Prize? Perhaps if you realised where things come from and where they started, it may not be such a thing that you are uncomfortable with. What we've done is taking you through a watercolour, through to an old sketch, and showing you how I make up abstracts and the reason for them. Perhaps the red splodge on the white canvas, titled, untitled. Next time you see it, you think, hold on a minute, perhaps this isn't such a preposterous thing. Perhaps it is something I can get to grips with. Could be next time you go into a gallery that you'll stand and look just a bit longer at the paintings you see. If you enjoy them, what's wrong with that? If you don't, walk away. You don't have to like them all, just as you don't have to like every traditional painting that's ever done. When we had our original paintings, we used a purple colour for the distant trees. And instead of trying to paint distant trees, let's just put a purple on, shall we? We'll mix it in with the blue we've just created and into the greens. That's very powerful compared to what we had before. Don't push it around, don't do too much else with it. I chained brushes for that. I'm using one inch, one inch, inch and a half decorator's brushes. Foreground, I'm now going to change colour again. Different brush, different pot, different green. This is a brighter green. And off we go. Keep it loose. Quite bright green. Paint into this. You can see the darks through it, so it's not thick paint. A little bit more water. Creating texture. A little bit more water. All the way through. I think I'll change the green slightly. Pick up slightly darker green. And what we're doing really is blending a little bit and creating the stripes we had in our field, but much softer. The intention at this stage is purely to put in and block in our colors getting rid of the stark white canvas to enable to go forward with the work. Having got to that stage, what I'm going to do is the good old bit of kitchen roll that's slightly damp. And I'm just going to blend this in just a little bit. Vertical action. This is the greenery before we put the poppies on. I don't know how much we're going to leave of this at the moment. Vertical through there. So we've got to a stage where the canvas has now been painted out and most areas have been covered with colour. Now available to buy. Try these techniques at home whenever you wish. 
The extended DVD of today's workshop is now available from the Painting and Drawing channel. For further information and to order your copy, go to www.paintingdrawingchannel.com.